Hey YouTube, here's Heiko. Uh, what are we looking at here? This is a bend saw that came from Harbor Freight probably in the 80s. Um, up there is the bend saw. Uh, cast iron housing, a uh, pretty solid piece of kit. Uh, this was only set up for wood cutting uh, with a 1250 RPM motor and a simple belt drive. Um, the uh, belt reduction or yeah, the belt drive that was in here from a two and a half inch pulley to a six inch pulley up top uh, brought it to 2,500 feet per minute blade speed. And that's way too fast for um, a metal cutting blade. So you can see there's more belt stuff going on in here. Um, I did a little bit of a gear reduction with pulleys so uh, the shaft on the motor is long enough. I have the original pulley still on here, two and a half inch, added a two inch pulley. And then um, originally the mount motor was mounted up here. I brought it down to the bottom and in place where the motor was mounted, I made the steel bracket. There are four carriage bolts welded on. So this whole unit slides up and down now. Uh, a couple of pillow block bearings that hold an extra shaft. This is a three quarter inch um, shaft. Actually, it's keyed, so um, the the pulleys here that you can see, they they um, have a key in a keyway, so they're you know uh, nicely mounted on the shaft. I I tried to make this bracket as wide as possible and push the bearings out as far as possible, so the shaft has most support and and it's get, kept from bending and twisting and turning. Um, the reduction that I managed to get here is, so 1,725 RPMs um, from a 2-inch to a 10-inch pulley reduces the speed. This, this shaft here spins with 345 RPM. And then I did again a 2-inch pulley to a 10-inch pulley. And this is the shaft that drives the bandsaw. Here's the a wood cutting blade still on here. I don't have a steel cutting blade yet. This is th uh, 13 and a half inches diameter. So this is a 10 inch pulley. This spins with 69 RPM. So we're going from 1725 to 69 RPM. That's quite a reduction. That brings the, um, oh, let me grab my extension cord here, um, brings the blade speed down to about seven, correction, 244. That's still a little fast. Uh, they say about 150 feet per minute um, would be best for steel cutting, but I'm working mostly with sheet metal and mild steel and that kind of stuff. And then I can also take it easy on the saw blade. I think it's gonna be just fine. 244 feet per minute is definitely closer to the desired speed than 2,500. Uh, you notice that there's still the original pulley. Same as up here on the driven shaft where, you know, the backside of the saw pretty much. There's also still the original six inch pulley. Reason why I left those on there is I want to be able to, with, um, you know, not crazy amounts of effort, to be able to, um, uh, whatchamacallit, I wanted to be able to still put the belt back on and run it with the original wood cutting speed. Um, therefore, those are still on there. So if I want to do that now, I just take the motor loose, take the tension out of this belt here, take this belt off, and um, then I could already pretty much put the, the longer belt on and um, yeah, I should be able to, yeah, um, and run it with um, the original speed and just let this uh, belt and that shaft down there just run with it, you know. So the, the pulley here would drive directly that pulley up there with full speed, 2,500 feet per minute, and this would just spin along, you know, the, the shaft. And uh, the way I want to accomplish this is with one of those um, newer, uh, what are those belts called? They are like little segments and you can um, 
adjust the lengths of those and you can take them apart and open them up and just get it around they sell them at uh, uh, Harbor Freight for like $32 and uh, they sell them as a half inch wide belt 60 inches long and I think I only need 57 and a half inches or so so you can take individual segments out Here, let me let me look up what those are called real quick all right guys I'm back um, so the the name that I couldn't come up with is link belt so it's like a vibration reducing link belt and they can be opened up so uh, you don't have to take everything apart to get a belt on you just open the belt up uh, you know put it around the pulleys and then close it back up and that's what I'm planning on doing if I ever have to put the wood cutting blade back in here um, and I also have uh, you know the the sliding motion of the motor the bracket that holds the motor in place I was reinforced a little bit so I uh, welded a square tubing on the bottom stiffen up the whole thing and then I um, there are slots cut into this bracket I extended those slots so my motor has a little bit more extension range I have to tighten or loosen this belt I just loosen up the four uh, bolts on the back and I can slide this up and down and it's nicely uh, held in, in in like a horizontal position so it doesn't tilt or twist much um, yeah and the pillow block bearings I pushed them to the outside edge of this bracket as far as I could um, so that um, the shaft is nicely supported and then you know I was a little worried that the tension of either of those belts would eventually wear out this uh, bearing uh, they are first of all greased so there are grease fittings on there and then I really have one belt pulling it to downwards and one pull uh, a pulley pulling it upwards uh, so that should kind of balance each other out and uh, yeah, so from 1,725 RPM to 345 to 69. That's pretty decent uh, belt reduction or drive reduction. And then really the only thing that I had to modify on the saw, besides, you know, the brackets and all that, that I modified to make it stiffer so the motor is held in place nicely. And then this extra mate bracket here is uh, cut a little notch into the housing for the belt to run through. And uh, yeah, I have it plugged in. I'm gonna just start it up and show you what that's gonna look like. It sounds really noisy on video, but in real life, standing next to it, there's no squeaking, no rattling. It's really not that bad. It's really, yeah, the motor makes some noise. And then up here, the little bearings make a little bit of noise and uh, this plastic is usually a big cover on here so you can't see this bottom pulley same as the top pretty much and uh, since I took that off just to be able to show you guys this is vibrating a little bit the noise is really minor so as you can see the motor is Walking along and the jack shaft is already spinning pretty slowly and then up here you know pretty slow from fast slow and even slower and now I just need to go to a Harbor Freight spend $11 get myself a 14 TPI blade tooth per inch 14 teeth uh, blade and then try out cutting some mild steel with it and then I will also buy myself this uh, link belt and try to find a length that um, works for my original pulley down to the original pulley. Um, with my adjustment range sideways, I think I will be able to have enough uh, um, movement to tension that belt as well. You know, it's probably gonna work. If not, I'll come up with something, maybe an idler pulley up here somewhere that just pushes against the belt but yeah this setup by the way those those big 10 inch pulleys they are sold at every hardware store home improvement store they are pulleys for a evaporative uh, cooler like a swamp cooler so they are not really anything super fancy stable 
uh, they're only 15 bucks a piece. So I wanted to build this uh, gear reduction without spending much money. Of course, you can buy gear boxes and gear reduction boxes for electric motors that have a gear reduction 1 to 30 or something like this, or 30 to 1. Um, this is more or less the cheap variation of this. Um, the shaft, 15, 20 bucks, I think. The bearings off of eBay, 15 bucks. Couple pulleys, I mean, total less than 100 bucks. A little bit of welding, I, you know, I had to stiffen up this bottom bracket. It was pretty loose, a little wobbly. The motor, because of the tension of the pulley, was being pulled up sideways. And after stiffening this up, it's not moving anymore. And yeah, this whole setup, less than a hundred bucks. I, I think the blue belt from Tractor Supply, it's one of those Kevlar covered belts. That was 15 bucks. That was the single most expensive part of this whole project. I'm really happy how that turned out. I haven't cut anything with it yet, but uh, it, it runs really smoothly, quietly. You know, besides that plastic vibration here, very quiet very quiet and speed yeah I, I will put a couple links in the description of this video um, one web page allows you to uh, calculate RPMs pulley speeds so you just put in the driving pulley size and the driven pulley size and the original RPM and then it calculates um, the pulley of the driven uh, the RPM of the driven pulley and then there's a second web page that you put in the, the pulley and the wheel size here and it calculates the feed per minute so you don't have to do that on a piece of paper. I, get, I know you guys would all be able to do it if you just put your mind to it but um, it's just a little easier. And yeah, this is kind of a nice little setup. You know, even here at the bottom instead of having graphite guides there are bearings in there as you can see the sort of blade guide is all bearings they might have to be replaced or modified a little bit the, the original owner who did that didn't do exactly like, the greatest job in mounting those you know a little overlapping and rubbing on each other but uh, yeah i'm pretty happy how it turned out and yeah, now I'm going to run to Tractor, uh, not Tractor Supply, Harbor Freight, and get me one of those blades and then try to cut it. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, like my saw and like my little gear setup. You may copy it if you like it. Most of those parts are from pulleys from Home Depot. And the shaft and, uh, yeah, the shaft and the smaller pulleys. Uh, from MacMaster Car. That's my new favorite webpage. MacMaster. They sell everything hardware. That's really cool. And uh, shipping is amazing. Very reasonably priced. Shipped within a day. I mean, it was like overnight. The next morning, the port showed up. It's really cool. Yeah. And then uh, maybe I'll make a second video and show how easy the transition from steel cutting speed to wood cutting speed will be you know putting the link belt on and all that all right you guys take care bye it's another uh, short little snippet of the saw running with the cover back on much quieter the rattle is gone so and uh, this is now wood cutting speed with a no a correction metal cutting speed with a wood cutting blade and we would be silly not to try out if it still cuts wood even with this slow blade speed. So this is three quarter inch plywood. Yeah. With a wood cutting blade at this speed and a thick piece of plywood, it would take forever. So you definitely need the higher blade speed for, uh, for wood cutting. But in a pinch, you know, you, you would probably burn, and I don't know how old this blade is. Maybe the blade is also kind of, and then it's not cutting really exactly straight, I want to say. Let's see, one more time.
Yeah, that is definitely too slow. And I'm cutting all kinds of angles here. So all this guide stuff here needs to be revamped and I need to take a look at this one more time, I think. Yeah, this is definitely not quite as pretty as I would like it. Anyways, hope you guys like it. Take care.